going on all around the crew. Um, back to the build, part two then. Just a bit of a phase overview, what to expect over the next six weeks, how things are progressing and how we're moving on from the previous phase and then what it's gonna to work towards in the next phase. So, first of all, um, maintaining the aerobic volume. So you'll have seen that for the, for the um, two sessions a day, guys, um, there's been three sessions a week. We've tried to keep that as much as possible in the one session a day as well, but the volume's just been um, like half, so you can fit it in in, in the session. Uh, but we're gonna maintain that same volume. There's gonna be the same amount of workload there. Sessions between 30 and 40 minutes long each time. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, there is three sessions a week. One is monostructural, so it's only kind of it's only running or only rowing, biking or skiing. Uh, one is mixed monostructural, so multiple of those um, that I've said there: bike, row, ski, run. Multiple of those mixed together, and then one is mixed modal, um, so just incorporating some other body weight movements or light movements in as well. But they all want to be fairly capped in heart rate. Um, you know, just stick to the RPE zones and the heart rate zones that we put in the program. They don't want to be wrecking you too much so that it takes you out of the um, energy you've got for the, the other parts of training. So that's going to maintain as it has last time and that will develop um, the energy system training as we go through the season. An increase in intensity of the single leg and upper body sessions. So the weightlifting and strength work, you'll see, you'll probably have seen in the first phase that um, we'll be progressing the weight, we'll be trying to add load onto those single leg exercises. What we're doing here in the single leg and upper body sessions is we're working on a three week rotation. So in phase one, we had five weeks. So we had week one, week two, week three, and then week four, we went back to the same, or very similar content to what was in week one. Week five was a deload, and then um, week six then mimics week two, week seven mimics week three. Um, so if we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, five, six, seven, eight, and that's going to go on down nine, ten, eleven. So that was week one, week, week two, week three, that's back to week one. Taper, week six is week two, week seven is week three, week eight, week one, nine is uh, two, ten is three, eleven is. If you, don't, if you can read my writing there. Um, so it, every time that three week rotation comes around, the intensity is increasing. Um, we're just trying to get it under more load in both the single leg and the upper body sessions. And you'll see we'll be using the um, same um, the same exercises over the, the three weeks in those sessions. Um, What's going to happen here with the single leg work is we're going to blend in some bilateral movements. So what we mean by that is we're going to start incorporating some squats more towards the end here, towards the kind of like week nine, week eight, nine, and ten. We're going to be incorporating some squats in after um, a little bit of a pre-fatigue from the single leg work. And what we're trying to do here is over this phase and the next phase here is take the gains that we've made from the single leg work and isolating them and just start incorporating it and, and blending it in with squatting so we, we get that carry on from single leg work into the bilateral movements, the squats and the pulls and then when we do push the squats and the pulls to a heavy load we get that, um, we get that carry over from the work that we've put in already. Um, Gymnastics volume, there's going to be an increase in just like the amount of reps, um, the reps that we've been doing on the, on the exercises. Everything's very much a strengthen, strengthening positional work. Um, and we are going to gradually, as we get to the kind of last few weeks, start incorporating some muscle ups back into the sessions again. We will spend a good eight weeks or nine weeks there, really drilling down the kind of basics, laying a good foundation. Um, so then as we bring the muscle-ups back in, we should be feeling the benefits of, um, of the work we put in, and especially in that first phase of not really doing any bar muscle-ups. Um, ollie lifts is going to uh, continue to be quite similar to the previous phase. We're going to keep the weight in around 60 to 85%. 
um, and it's very much just kind of positional work and and building on positional volume, just just getting good time under tension in key positions. Uh, yeah, just drilling the right positions, and that's going to keep going like that until we get to later phases where we've then upped our upped our bilateral strength, squats and pulls. Once we're in that position where those squats have gone up, we drop in uh, pushing the pushing the weights on the ollie lifts, and that's where we should start to see the big improvements. So, a bit of patience is required for the ollie lifts. Keep it in the right positions. Keep them drilled in. All that will pay off. Um, further down the line um, yeah and then we'll just get the odd CrossFit workout in also we've got the Saturdays with the whiteboard workout we've got the CrossFit thresholds and the other little CrossFit piece here and there just to keep you all sharp and on your toes um, yeah and just make sure there's a little bit of an outlet for you all to keep doing a bit of CrossFit alright enjoy